But what happens if you forget your phone, in this case for this demonstration I'm going to be using my tablet, and you leave that in the car? How do you find that? So because I've still got my smart tag on my keyring, I can find my tablet using the smart tag. And to do that I just press this button twice. One, two. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you like today's video. If you like smart home and automotive technology content, then hit that subscribe button because most of the time that is what you're going to see on this channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing this clever little Tuya smart tracking tag. This is a very cheap device to buy and also a very useful device to have, especially if you're prone to losing things like me. I bought this months ago, lost it, and only found it again the other day. Like I just said, I lose things all the time. But after experimenting with it, I decided to make a video about it. And so today, that's what I'm doing. Some examples of how this could be used are, one, you could attach it to your pet's collar, so you can track where they are around the house. Or two, you could leave it in your handbag or wallet, so you could find it if it goes missing. Uh, or three, you could attach it to your house or car keys, so if you put them down somewhere but don't remember where you put them, you can find them again. Um, or you could also leave it in your car and use it to find your car if you forgot where you parked it. It's just a Bluetooth device, and you set it up and use it through the Tuya app that you install on your phone. And the way it works is pretty cool, which I'm going to show you. But first, I'll quickly go through the specs. Okay, let's take it out of the box. Instructions, and here's the device itself. You can a you can attach a lanyard to it as well if you wanted to put it around your neck or something. Um, it's very thin in height. Um, it's seven millimeters to be exact, and it's approximately forty millimeters in diameter. And it's also very very light in weight. It's uh, eight point three grams. Um, as I said before, it's a very cheap device. This cost me seven dollars. Um, it's just powered off a CR2032 3 volt battery. You just flick the top off and you can put a new battery into it. Um, the battery life is apparently about 12 months. Um, it is a Bluetooth device. Um, it also has an internal buzzer as well, which is apparently rated at up to 85 decibels. Uh, but in my opinion, it does need to be louder. Uh, it works with Android and iOS and it works with the Tuya app and the Smart Life app. Um, as I already said, um, it is Bluetooth, so you don't need a gateway with this device. It will work from anywhere, providing you have a Bluetooth connection. Uh, it's advertised to have a maximum wireless range distance of up to 35 meters when you're outside. Uh, when you're inside, however, with doors and walls all around you, um, expect the range to be a lot less at around 10 to 20 meters and lastly it's also two-way communication so not only can your phone find it but it can also find your phone okay uh, pairing the device with the app um, as you can probably see I've already got it um, paired already but I'm just going to show you guys how you do it anyway so to do that you just go up here this is the two-year app you can use the smart life app if you want to it's the same procedure click on the plus sign uh, now you need to put the device into pairing mode. To do that, you just hold this button down here for three seconds until it starts beeping. Um, click on add device. It will start automatically scanning for the device and pick it up within a few seconds. It's very fast and easy to do. Once done and everything's paired, you can see, that my, you can see my setup here is smart tag in my app. O opening the app and you are faced with this. And what this is, is a range, a range detection finder. When you're trying to find this device with your phone, uh, the closer you get to the device, these rings will start highlighting up blue. Um, and obviously if you're walking away from the device and you're looking at your phone at the same time, um, these rings will start going back to white again. Um, so now I'm going to do a series of tests um, and try out all these different features for you so you can see how this device actually works. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I've attached the smart tag to my car, car key. 
and I'm going to try and find my car key um, with the key locked inside the car. Uh, before I do that, I'm just going to show you what it sounds like when you tap on the find button in the app um, and it tries to find the device. I don't know how loud that is on camera, um, but it's not very loud at all. So I'm going to put my car key in the car and we're going to try and find my car key. Okay, I'm about 10 meters away from the car now. So now let's try and find the car key with the smart tag attached to it. And remember to watch the uh, blue circles highlight the closer we get to the device. I can't hear it beeping in the car at the moment. Oh, actually I can now and we're probably around about 7 meters away. It's very faint though. You guys might be able to hear it beeping now. And we're at the car now. And to stop that from beeping, we just click on the done button. But what happens if you forget your phone, in this case for this demonstration I'm going to be using my tablet, and you leave that in the car? How do you find that? Okay, so I've left my tablet in my car, but let's just say I don't remember doing that, and I don't know where my tablet is. So because I've still got my smart tag on my key ring, I can find my tablet using the smart tag. And to do that, I just press this button twice. One, two. I can hear it ringing now. There it is. It is important to know guys that you don't actually need the app running in the background either for this to work. And just to show you guys uh, how the rangefinder works when you walk away from the device, you'll notice that the uh, blue rings will start to disappear as we start walking away. Again, this test is inside as well. We'll do another test outside. So we're probably about seven meters away now. And we're now 10 meters away again from the car and the device. Okay guys, to continue the testing, I've now come outside. Um, and the next test I'm going to do is what would happen if you left your smart tag in the car, locked your car and walked away. Or even worse, if you left the smart tag attached to the key, um, shut the door, forgot to lock the car and then walked away. Let's find out. As you can see, it's come up with a message now. I'm just walking off the road in case I get hit by a car. And of course that also confirms with you that um, it's lost communication over Bluetooth with my smart tag as well, my phone that is. So how far away from, we're quite a long way from the car. All right, we're back at the car now. Um, I'm just going to show you guys what the actual message is that it sends to you. There you go. Okay, now this part's important as well. So for the smart tag to find your phone, as we've seen, the app doesn't need to be running in the background. But for the other way around, for your phone to find the smart tag, it does need to be running in the background. So what happens if the phone is the app isn't running in the background on the phone? How can you tell this? I'll show you that now. So at the moment the phone's running in the background, when we close the app, the smart tag tells you that it can't find the phone. Okay guys, and now we're going to another test, and that is location record. Uh, this part down here, oops, where it is, that is it, that one there. As I said to you before, um, the app will, um, it always keeps a record of where the smart tag is located. Um, and if you walk away from that and go out of Bluetooth communication with the smart tag, it will automatically display on the screen a little map of where the smart tag was last located. 
So we're going to leave the smart tag there and walk away and I'll show you exactly how that works. Close the door and walk away from the car. And as you can see, let's just bring up a little map of where the smart tag was located. And it's alerting us as well by a little ringtone. Okay, um, so I've just stopped now. We're miles away from the smart tag and the car. So now when we go back into the app and try and load it up, there will be no communication with the smart tag at all. However, it has given us a map of where the smart tag was located before it lost communication. Okay guys, and that brings us to the end of another video. So that's how these Bluetooth smart tags work. Um, as you can see, they're a really cool little device, um, but as you can also see, they're designed to work over shorter distances, not long distances. Um, and being a Bluetooth device, that's exactly what you would expect. Um, the long, the sorry, the location record feature does work really well. So if you left your keys in the car, and walked away from the car, you definitely would get messaged um, to notify you about that. Um, and in my opinion, for that reason only, um, it's definitely worth buying one of these devices. Um, as I said at the beginning of the video, I lose things all the time, so having just one of these is definitely not enough for me. And because they're so cheap, it's definitely an affordable option to have more than one. I think for around the house, they're perfect. I don't have a dog or cat, but if you do, I can see it would be very useful to have it attached to their collar. Um, there's lots of other ways it could be used as well, such as a personal pager or a wireless doorbell. Or if you want to get even more technical, you could disassemble the device, remove the switch from the PCB, and, well, okay, now I'm just getting carried away. But I think of lots, I can think of lots of ways I could use this in my smart home. I'm starting to get overexcited about this device now, so I'll just stop there, I think. Anyway, guys, if you liked or found this video helpful in any way, then please like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more. I upload a new video every week, so until then, I hope to see you all in the next video.